G'day folks and welcome to Gormo Shed. What we're looking at today is some uh, post and rail um, fencing from Scale Model Scenery in the UK. It's a, a very easy kit to put together but before we go into that I'd just like to mention that uh, on my uh, YouTube channel um, I quite often get uh, notifications via email about comments that are made on some of my videos and I usually follow them up and, uh, and uh, reply where necessary. But uh, I've found that uh, when I look into the uh, settings on my channel that uh, you go into the analytical section and there's uh, an area there where you can look at comments and um, quite often there are comments in that section there that I haven't seen before and uh, I feel obliged to uh, answer those if I can. So I'm not quite sure how the system is working, uh, whether it is working properly or not, and uh, I would assume all comments would come through my notification on my email, but however, I don't think that's happening. So if uh, somebody's uh, asked me something out there and I haven't replied, um, maybe I haven't seen it. So not sure what's going on there, but we'll just carry on and hope it all sorts itself out. So now we're going to look at the uh, four millimeter uh, post and rail fencing. Now this is the sort of uh, fencing that I'm talking about and uh, I use this product here for my um, national monument up the top of the hill uh, a little um, model of Stonehenge which has become the local heritage monument here the national monument if you like uh, so that's the sort of thing we're talking about and I've even adapted it here and uh, put a gate into it as well uh, which is quite simple to do just using some strips of paper as uh, hinges and colour them up but I'm quite happy with how this has come up and um, the fact that it's um, adaptable it can bend to suit the uh, terrain which is uh, I think fairly important now obviously I've used this kit before so I've got a couple of spare uh, sections of, of fence left over and I'm going to work on those. So they, they've already been removed from the, um, the card area. And what you get is a, a grey sheet of card um, which has all these parts in them. And what you'll find is that the longer parts are for the longer posts on the fence and the short parts are for the shorter posts on the fence, the middle sections. Middle sections there. Long post, short post. If you don't want these long posts, um, there is a little mark on them, which I'll try and find here, uh, which is there, uh, where you can cut them off. If you just wanted to glue this fence straight to the baseboard, uh, you can cut the posts off if you don't want to drill any holes in the baseboard. I like to leave them on and I like to drill holes and, and secure them that way because I've got undulating terrain that the fence is going to go over. So that's an option that you have in the kit. Uh, so I'll be cutting out long posts and short posts to suit the, um, the fence sections. And what we're doing is we're cutting out enough of these long ones and short ones to do both sides of the fence in this case. It's all covered in the instructions and the instructions are fairly easy to follow, follow and um, comprehensive. So we'll start, uh, we might as well start from one end I suppose and start cutting these out. And you've got little, little tags here that you just uh, cut through. It's really quite simple. I'm using a sharp scalpel here and you just place the blade into the uh, gap there, cut through and it releases the post as you as you go along. So there's a, a few of these, I'll have to count them actually how many I need but um, I'll go through and uh, cut these out and then we can um, get on to the next stage. thing to keep in mind too is that if you want to have a style on your fence. Uh, the parts for the styles are also included in, in the kit and uh, you can make them up if you want to. So um, I, I won't be using them so that we won't be doing that today. I've just got to get that one out. 
there we go yeah so it's just a process folks of repeating what I've done here and uh, yeah I'll just get on and cut all these out and uh, we'll get back to you when we're ready to go through to the next stage right folks now we've got a pile of little posts all around the joint here and it's time to start gluing them on I just use um, one of these Metcalf um, glue bottles which has got the little uh, thin dropper end on it and just put some um, a thin coating of um, PVA on one side of the post and then just um, grab one of the uh, posts that you've cut out and just um, stick it on top and make sure it's set up properly press it down and you're starting to get a, um, a post. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. You can you can just stick them on one side if you want to, or do it however you like. But um, this really it strengthens the the um, fence for a start, and makes these posts quite strong, especially if you're uh, drilling a hole to put them into the baseboard. So, as you can see. Uh, that's just one post on one side so there's a few to do so um, we'll just get on and uh, plot away and uh, do a few more and um, when, once all these are stuck on um, I like to paint it it's already because of its grey card it's already a, uh, a nice sort of um, weathered look I suppose if you like you could leave it grey if you wanted to um, but I like to use the grey as a background and then I'll go over it with some um, uh, brown umber or something like that uh, to uh, give it uh, an appearance that's a bit more like wood and um, or aged wood if you like because these things uh, they have a hard life don't they so yeah we'll just get on and um, do some more gluing there and uh, I'll get back to you when we're done Right, we've got our two sections here now with the posts on both sides except for this um, centerpiece here where we want to join it so what I'm going to do is uh, take one post off so I'll just cut through the rails and uh, then we can join the two sections together just be careful how you do it and they will eventually separate there we go right so now we'll glue those um, the ends of the uh, rails there onto this uh, center post so it all looks like one section there's enough in this kit to do uh, just over a meter of fencing and you might think well why bother Gormo why don't you just get some uh, plastic fencing well can plastic fencing do that uh, without snapping in half and the other thing is can it do this where are we can you see properly can plastic fencing do this no not really so that's where this is uh, excellent this product because it's made of card and it's a bit forgiving right folks we're ready to paint and I've just put some um, burnt sienna some burnt umber and um, some black into a little tray these are all acrylic paints just a standard artists acrylic paints and so I'll use a mixture of those to um, to brush onto the fence now you want to sort of do a, a dry brushing sort of effect so you don't want the paint too heavy and just sort of gradually work over the fence we might move up a bit closer there so you can see and uh, just lightly go over it letting some of the grey show through and change colour slightly a little bit of black we're only using the smallest amounts here and we will try and blend some of that together to uh, get the desired effect it's really quite easy to do if you sort of look inside the 
posts where the po rails meet the posts, you want to sort of just dab in the sideways as well. And um, yeah, as I say, don't be afraid to leave a bit of the grey showing and just play with your colours, mix them up a bit and uh, you get that variation in the fence then. And of course once you've done that side, you just turn it over and do it the other side. Exactly the same method. Now yeah, we've got uh, both sides painted um, and we're, we're ready to go. So uh, next stage is uh, fitting it to the railway. Right now folks we um, choose our best side of the fence colour wise and then we sort of get an idea of what we want to do with it and I'm going to sort of uh, run it from the, uh, the brick wall here up to um, the uh, the bushes up here and I'll probably add some more bushes so it disappears into the bushes like that so may not be the entirely correct way to do it I suppose you could do it down here as well um, but then you know it's possible to sort of wander onto the railway that way as well I suppose so I might sort of uh, take it up the hill like that so that's the uh, the rough plan so what we need to do is get a, a drill bit of the correct size to uh, suit the posts and um, then uh, I, I like to drill the holes as I go because uh, being uh, undulating territory you just don't know what sort of uh, distance the posts are going to be apart because um, areas of the fence will start to lift up at a different angle which will change the, the post spacing slightly so um, yeah we'll get some gear and uh, make a start and see how we go now I'm just using an old hand drill for, for this folks, I um, drilled my first hole here, that, that's not glued in yet but I'm just, I want the ability to take these things out again so um, I just sort of mark where I want my next hole and then I can move the uh, fence a little bit out of the way and I might even just move that back just a tad to there and we'll drill another hole it's going through um, Probably star in here as well before it hits the baseboard. That should do. Just put that down. And uh, see how we go. Yep, that's fine. So now I'll just work my way along. And uh, once I've got the, the holes set up, well then I'll fit the fence in properly and then we can glue it down. Now I've got to the stage here, folks, where I'm just got, sort of going into uh, polystyrene. So I've pretty much just got to put the drill bit where I want the hole and then just push it. And I've got my uh, fence post hole ready set up there. So far so good. So we'll just carry on making a few more holes. Pushing the posts in and we'll come back and, as I said, glue them into place. Well, we're nearly there now, folks. Just, just a couple more to go and we'll be done. Just with the holes anyway. It's uh, actually quite easy into the styrene. And uh, sure beats drilling holes in the baseboard, but there, that's how it goes. So there we are. Alright folks, this is how it's finished up. Now that's still just sitting there in the holes that I drilled in. And you can see how it uh, dip, dips and dives and follows the contours of the land. And ends up here in the, in the bushes. Now I might have to put some more bushes there to stop any livestock getting through there. But yeah, that's uh, that's how it's come up. So now I'll get onto it. I've got some. Uh, I think I'll use some super glue on the posts that are uh, fitted into the baseboard. So I'll do that next. All right. So we've just got some um, little cheapo super glue here, and um, this is probably the most important post. And. Uh, I'll put some down the side of it to uh, 
attach it to the brick wall if that's possible if it'll stay it's just off it no it won't work so I'll have to make sure there's plenty down the bottom here and I'll just hold that for a second to make sure that stays vertical next to the um, to the brick wall right that seems okay now so I'll just go along to the uh, next one and it's as simple as that it's a bit difficult to come from behind to do it but uh, this stuff will dry clear anyway and what we need probably now is um, some bushes and things uh, growing up into the fence and over it a bit that sort of thing so we just sort this out first and we'll worry about that some other day so that's it job done uh, I think that's not too bad really and uh, yeah it's come up rather well quite pleased with that I'll just move the camera around a bit whoops sorry there's all the way up there so there we are well that's it folks it's as easy as that uh, the only fiddly part is uh, putting the posts on either side but really that's no big deal either it just takes a bit of time that's all so you can uh, dedicate a little five or ten minutes here uh, every now and then when you want to do it and after a while you're going to have a meter of fencing so um, uh, credit where credit's due it's uh, from scalemodelscenery.co.uk and it's four foot uh, post and rail fencing and it's part number X LX 006 00 uh, so it's four foot post and rail fencing um, I'll put the uh, link in the description below uh, if you want to have a crack at it um, I believe um, Justin at Scale Model Scenery is um, pretty busy at the moment and uh, the mail is a bit slow especially Royal Mail in UK so uh, if you place an order it might take some time so anyway best of luck whatever you do take it easy and stay safe cheers Gourmet